<laughs> what are you doing in here? No, wait, what? Did you put underwear on? Where's your diaper? Spotted. <laughs> this vlog has been done since Sunday, but we don't know why it hasn't gone up yet. Probably because I didn't do the this part. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Anyways, hey, welcome back to another week. Just woke up and right as I was making breakfast for Gracie, I realized, oh my gosh, today is make something out of recyclables day and bring it to school. Um, we have about 10 minutes to do it. I made a flower. You made a flower? What'd you make your flower out of? Eggs. Eggs? Let's see. Got some beads. Colored it. It looks so good. Buy it. Buy it? <laughs> Guess what we had for breakfast this morning. <laughs> this has been the craziest week of my life. That sounds like an overstatement. But once I tell you what has been happening behind the scenes, you will understand Whoop. That, that that's not a, a, I'm not exaggerating. We have so many secrets, so much work. Santa Claus is coming to town. Okay, I went to this week I opened up my quarantine bag to open my quarantine bag and this much longer than it was asked but just to be sure so let's just double check everything and then wash it again for the millionth time and then decide what we're gonna do I am leaving for Rexburg Idaho tomorrow and there's a few things I'd like to bring with me if that is possible yeah. Can you smell it or no? Go to the vent. Oh yeah, you can smell it. Look at this bag. It's a one of a kind from Mexico. So can anyone sympathize of why I'm trying to salvage it? My one of a kind Mexican bag. Oh, and I have all my patches. Oh yeah, I forgot about that outfit. Oh, my shoes are in there, my laptop cover, <laughs> my brand new Adidas sweater, my brand new Adidas Sambas, and lots of underwear. <laughs> Passport? Oh yeah. Okay. This is what I'm most worried about was that bag. Um, you can definitely smell cleaner stuff. Oh, my favorite sweater. My coat. Yeah, it is cold outside. Holy moly. Ah, oh, that's where that sports bra went. All right. It's probably like the 10th wash. I've missed you so much. Like I said in other videos, we don't have any bed bugs at our house. We threw out most of my stuff. The stuff that I brought home has been in a garage for a week and a half, then in quarantine for like a week. <laughs> and we're washing the stuff that I didn't bring home for like the 10th time, but the first time since bringing it home and after quarantine. Um, we should be fine, but like, I'm so paranoid. <laughs> so in a way, if there was something, there's no way they'd survive that chemical. You could smell almost through the bag. Yeah. Okay, that thing. Oh my gosh, I can still smell it. Okay, update. There's a few that are, well, there's lots that are scab. Like that one looks like it's gonna scar. Oh, you can't really see. You just trust me. So it's really just, I got like um, these all over my arms. I'm, like, my leg is doing much better, but. I mean, this is what, like almost three weeks? I know, three weeks. What are you doing? 
A lot of you have been asking about um, the bed bugs. I still, I have scarring on my arms and my legs. A lot of you have been asking if I have heard from them since I've been in Canada, and I have not. Okay, so anyways, I went to Rexburg, Idaho. I'm here in Rexburg, Idaho. It's like 11.30 New York time. So I took one, two, and three planes to get here. Traveling to Rexburg is always a little tricky when you go from a small airport in Rochester, New York to an even smaller airport in Idaho. But we made it, and Steph, my friend from Olivan, picked me up. We went out to dinner. Like, how am I gonna put that in my I don't know, these things are giant. <laughs> and so tomorrow we have so much going on. We have a, remember when uh, Steph and I went to Vegas together back in February? Well, I went and I picked out a whole bunch of stuff that I really love. Um, and so we kind of tag teamed and we're gonna release like a clothing line of my favorite clothes that we picked out for her store. So tomorrow we're going to have a photo shoot and then we're gonna have a party, like a dance party at her store and like a meet and greet and stuff with me. So, I'm gonna crash hard because it was an all day traveling. Um, and I will see you in the morning. Make breakfast without bugging them. But I can't figure out <laughs> their baby proof cupboards to find their pan. <laughs> I'm baby proofed out. <laughs> And as the skies turn gloomy, night winds whispers to me, I'm lonesome as I can be. I go on walking after midnight out in the moonlight. This is Hotel Tarnasty, the hotel where you go to bed and there's a cupcake on your bed. We're on our like fourth location. I don't know where we are. Look at this shirt though. Fiesta party. <laughs> Everything's Mexican. Everything is Mexican. East Coast line is actually a Spanish line. <laughs> 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 I've seen Stephanie, we've gotten Thai food. So we had to get it today or else we'd be breaking a very long tradition. Also look at this shirt. Also part of the release. Thai food, Thai food. So it's almost one o'clock. We left the house at 8.30 to do the photo shoot. That's how long it took. Uh, but it's closed, so guess where? We're gonna enter into Narnia. Oh. <laughs> Narnia. <laughs> Check it out. Beat them by four. Loser. <laughs> this is the calm before the storm. If you wanna see what's out, is it pink and is it Mexican? Oh, <laughs> anyway, we partied, we danced hard. We're dead now. I didn't film any of it for the vlog, but he did. He's got like 10 hours of the worst dancing footage you can think okay, of. No, it was pretty good dancing. It was like it fine. <laughs> Anyways, maybe he'll send me something and we can pop that in. I will.
quite literally, just made it. I'm running to try and get this. Because if I don't make this, I don't get home until tomorrow afternoon. Okay. You will know what kind of miracle this is. Our plane was delayed two hours, and my layover was only an hour and a half. I don't know how this is happening right now. This never happens. It's 10.30 at night, just made it home. I'm eating Frosted Flakes, but we're doing the dishes. So we don't have any spoons, so I'm eating it with an ice cream scooper. I don't know how hard it is to eat this. It's awkward. It don't really fit the shape of your mouth. And then of course this week was also a general conference. I saw most of it traveling home and then Sunday, I mean, yeah. I'll start the music and sit tight because maybe this upcoming week probably will tell you what we've been up to and also I leave for Florida in a day so lots of exciting stuff. Something to consider during situational seasons of doubting. Doubting if we can make it, doubting if things will get better, doubting that promised blessings are coming or God's will, timeline, or his path for us. Are we allowing God to be God? Are we allowing ourselves the opportunity for God to show us how great He really is? Are we pushing through to see it to the end? Are we accepting the passing time to give God the chance to give us these experiences where we're reminded of our reason, our purpose, and we just feel this electrifying moment that reminds us of why we are here and what we need to be working towards? Sometimes I'll read old journal entries about my trials and confusion, and I'll look back on all these nights I spent on the floor yelling at God, losing my voice, saying, I can't do this. This is too hard. I'm not this strong. You know, I look back on those times where I was asked why nothing was coming together yet. Or, you know, these times where I was just desperately low levels of anguish I'd never before felt. And sometimes I'll see old pictures of myself and think how I had no idea how my life would unfold. No idea what lay ahead or where God would bring me next. And to see what I have now and what I'm doing, I can't help but smile. I wish I could just yell to myself in the past, you'll be all right, your life turns out awesome. But of course it turns out awesome because that's what God will always do for us. We may not have all the answers we want about our future, but we know enough. We are led by an all-powerful, all-loving God. 
And if having the most powerful being to ever exist on our side isn't empowering, I don't know what is. Thank you.